What's good YouTube and welcome to a market watch with a list longer of cards than a casuals freaking ban list predictions It's a thick one. So buckle up and get ready But first if you want to drink those casual tears head to head battles has a tier box coffee I love this deck box design Jen has been upping her game as well as sleeves and then a bundle with a mystery field center for $65 But if you want just the deck box $45 and sleeves at 15 code what's good five for 5% off and support the channel directly will work but the cards they're twisting around the ban list and people's fears thereof they're also going into past formats it's just crazy so let's go ahead and start with the Yu-Gi-Oh Adidas I did an update over the weekend but if you did not see that there is now a title to the shoe Yugi's World my wife linked me to this site and they were selling out insanely fast they were gone in like two minutes but Yugi's World over here was the updated title so I googled that and if you type in Yu-Gi-Oh to Foot Locker it doesn't bring anything up but if you go Yugi's World Adidas into Google, you find a countdown timer over here, nine days and 18 hours as of filming right now. So that's pretty cool. It's also over here on Hibet. Now, somebody in the comment section that was pretty helpful pointed out that Adidas themselves tends to do their listing like, hey, this is coming seven to five days in advance. So if they're going to ramp up marketing, if there's an even bigger release around this, your chance to get this at $120, it's there. Now, a lot of people are saying this will be heavily botted it will be out so this is more your heads up to hey be logged in have your payment information ready that sort of stuff if you're trying to get these when these do drop they are again going crazy on ebay look at this lowest listed around 750 dollars for the card alone and then you see sales on ebay 974 dollars best offer accepted though if this one for above 900 that's just crazy to me but the shoe alone by itself they're starting to head towards like $200 with the extras in the shoe and that's what I got it for I actually got my first one in today I did order a few but I went for the extras not specifically the card so I'll probably do the card a bit lower on the discord not like insanely but lower than I've seen anybody else sell it for recently at all in the discord and I'll be shipping that to the US it'll be first come first serve nobody that DMs me ahead of time that kind of stuff I'll at everybody in the first one to DM me will get the crack at it there but let's go ahead and get to the cards first off dark magician girl secret pharaoh rare is starting to go up and it's been trending that way for some time and somebody asked me hey why is this going up but the ghost rare is failing ghost is such a better rarity everybody loves us and I think the answer is pretty simple in my opinion ghost from the past two had notoriously bad quality control and for the most part it's gone down although it's starting to slowly trail up here actually somewhat quickly in the recent history people are going after this and it's almost a year old but still the quality control is just so horrendous and even though it's at the top end of the set when you're buying online there's a lot of people will be like oh this scuffing that's still near mint that sort of stuff so people want to buy this card in person for the most part but it's up a little bit and people have been going after cards like dark magician girls once again but over here towards this end there's like 18 different pharaohs rares and then secret rare is us only ultra rare is over in the eu and so i do understand this is the top end of a set where quality control is applauded and at the same time it's a special dark magician girl now if it continues to go up you do have to ask yourself where's that price ceiling versus demand point like tons of people want to do dark magician girl collections but they could go build full binders you know pages and stuff of the mega 10 version or even lost art depending on the price that this gets to so price ceiling versus demand will be interesting on this and the ultra feral rares of course on tcg player are a bit skewed in price because they were released over in other regions like the eu so they're not as accessible over here off the bat and a lot more people want the secret rare of the dark magician girl as i understand it in pharaohs rare. but let me know what you think it is is it that mix of quality control and set perception because mavens has been going up and up in price right off the bat and konami could reprint that at any time but myself included i think it's a lot slimmer of a chance like they've done reprint sets right like kaiba collection before they rewaved that but they would have to also reproduce the sleeves or have a ton of those left over to do an unlimited wave and i think that might hold them back from doing it or they could make a special edition version of it that's slimmer without the extras but do remember konami can do whatever they want and rewave these cards but with 18 different pharaohs rares it's a lot harder to pull a pharaoh rare dark magician girl almost as hard as an 
individual Starlight out of a core set versus like the Ghost Dark Magician Girl. They upped the amount of ghosts that you're pulling and then the cost of the product and how it tanked out versus then trying to get a nice one versus quality control for a near mint. It's an interesting dynamic for sure. Yadagarasu Starlight Rare also on the high end is getting bought out here. You can see it slowly started to turn up. Now people are spending ridiculous amounts suddenly scrambling. This is always funny to me where people are like, oh yeah, it's Yada, it's the lowest of the set. I'm like, well, the past formats are really fun, but it did get banned very fast. And now you have people scrambling for it and paying over $200. I don't think these are like individuals trying to pump the price even more. Like, I think these are actual sales at the end of the buyout with people scrambling for it. Triple Tactics Talent, speaking of Mavens, I called that this would be ahead of evenly matched and it slowly pulled ahead here and you can see the Mavens version is actually even passing the 2021 10 version that's also ultra, but both have a similar market price. And yeah, people are just after this card. It is being played within the format and it's starting to really spike here. So you can see it's starting to twist around the metagame as well. Nightmare Corruptor Ibli is up in price over here. And this is one that we've talked about before and it comes and goes in terms of, you know, people validating it or in the format, but forcing people in the link summons and not being able to fusion that can be a pretty big deal. Sprite Blue is kind of starting to spike even harder. We've covered that it was starting to go back up, but now the lowest are almost towards $50 right here on the front page. It starts at $45 and those quickly go. People are speculating that this will be the deck hit less by the ban list, and you see this starting to pass way above the Tier Lament field spell, and Tier Laments, they still survived in the OCG to a great degree, so it is interesting how people are spending their money really hyping themselves on future formats and getting in now to where they could be overspending or spending like if everybody had chilled out what the actual ban list would have done to the cards but right now instead without knowing the ban list that's that kind of place in Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes right then we have Therion King Regulus we pointed out that it was going up and it went up even harder it's towards $40 here people really putting their money where their mouth is on what they think will be good but what's interesting is the Starlight Rare it's half had some sales on it, but it hasn't quite spiked yet. They're still hovering at 150 for multiple of these, but they do start to go up quickly on the front page. So there are sales there, but it hasn't just like taken off yet. But people are buying even the highest end version of this at this point. Now, speaking about people really spending into that future meta, this one does mix in a lot better, I think, since we never had it hit, you know, OCG versus TCG. Right of Armaseer and Collector Rare Water Enchantress are both way up in price and you also see over time the ultras going up throughout this format but yeah people are really going into the collector rares right now but the punk engine also i'm not as familiar why this is going up so let me know in the comment section down below if you do the collector rare for foxy tune is really steadily going up here over time and is now back to almost 60 dollars consistently a couple of uh you know zero percent feedback seller and then a hundred percent with lower sales so i might give that a chance if you were in the market for this but then it's quickly $60 here and then the ultra rare has a similar graph so people really going back towards this I remember pointing out when it was $6 and I'm like that seems really cheap for an engine everybody was on just a bit ago now it's towards $12 $13 and then the other pieces like dear note it's sort of turning up here and starting to go but then I look at ogre dance collector rare it is also spiking up here so people just buying in the lowest towards like 30 and quickly towards 45 here even people are just eating up the punk engine off the market let me know if you know what it's mixing with what people are aiming to do with it and how it's going to integrate into our metagame because i do feel like our metagame gave this a way stronger chance than the ocg did at first but then i've seen it implemented over there and it's kind of this interesting mix right now looking through you know those double down buyouts gishki this is getting bought out again and the supers are now gone for abyss and just on complete buyout mode to where it's even passing the dt these snapshots are always so hilarious to me but also aqua mirror is up here and you see just so many different gishki buyouts dark magician the battle of chaos ultra rare that you see in every 1.5 cases ish as i understand it has spiked up 20 dollars. that's a 20 percent increase and it was usually around 80 dollars. so this is interesting because i 
thought the Megatons would spike the demand for this, but nobody really touched it around then, and now it's just slowly and silently been going up now that the attention's off of it. It's so funny how that ends up working. Like, I'm right, but for the wrong reasons, and at the wrong time that it would go up, I really liked it, and at its price point, it still seems special, but I'm also a Yugi Boomer who likes this sort of thing, and then you see that it just starts going up anyways, but, like, do you think people are just slowly finishing that collection. I've seen a lot of buzz on this version in the casual Yugi groups of all places. Like, yo, look what I got. And wow, where'd you get that? And people looking it up and getting it that way. It could just be natural traction over time at this point too, even though the graph is kind of spiky there. OTS Pack 20, all the ulties are going up a bit. Ray is going up. And of course there's future Sky Striker support. A Luber skyrocketed a bit ago with all that final Albaz stuff. But Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries perhaps having the biggest spike like it was down here towards 30 and people went, oh, that's too cheap. And the, you can see the sales rate really insane the last few days on this. It is now towards the lowest end of $44 besides the 0% feedback sellers. Again, people trying to make a name for themselves and get sales at 0% feedback going cheaper. Sometimes it's worth giving a chance. You get that mixed reaction at times, but I do think it's usually worth trying because TCG player system is usually pretty trustworthy with that. But looking through here a lot of them are lining up at $44 now instead of 30 a pretty big increase past formats I don't know why y'all are going after Cliff the Trap Remover every single version of this is money and there's even buyouts on like the first edition Dimensional Alchemist Gold Rare now this one takes me back this was really good in certain formats it was more of a tech option but it would still top a really good light monster for chaos it's up on all versions let me know why that is is it just that past format you know interest what format are you playing it is it the all famous edison what is going on here because this is pretty wild for people to go that hard on a gold rare and say oh there's no other good hollow all right speed duels come on do your job give us a super rare which of the black rose ultimate rare first edition this is one that used to get cyclical and you know buyouts it would calm down people would buy it out up their collection but it calmed down over time now we do see another buyout here at 45 dollars. so just be aware this is one people used to buy out a ton and then that rose support also came out people speculatively bought this out then as well it's just a nice high rarity first edition ulti that people really love you have fog king the old joker you fog king kidding me that might get me demonetized on youtube the ultra rare the battle pack war of the giants one is what's getting bought out here real hard is this some anti flunder tech once again why are people doing this other than to make me do the pun and maybe flunder i don't know Trap Dust Shoots for Pass Format is skyrocketing for the first edition over time, and now it's on full buyout mode. The lowest are around $17 for near mints. And again, that first edition really setting itself aside, as Konami does unlimb certain older packs, but Ferrana Guardian, not one of them yet. We see that Metamorphosis also out of there is on buyout mode for good old GOAT format. First edition's now up towards 17 freaking dollars versus it used to be under 10 by its market price. And finally, Generator's getting that oh-so-needed new support. Well, Mardell, you know, used to be shorted here. as She is a large candidate, Konami. Lost Art win. Take away the Kami. We see here that she is starting to go up slowly in price. It is now around $7 lowest. A lot of damaged ones on the front page. But plenty lined up at 7 It's up, you know, $2 on a $5 card. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation. There's other stuff going up, like Labyrinth up a couple dollars on certain things and tons of other things but i figured this is about as much for one market watch as i'm gonna handle and there's just so much so again later random drop i'll at everybody in the discord first person in the u.s will get a chance to buy the dark magician and again i will list the price and everything there but it will be significantly cheaper than the ebay prices currently but at the same time i do suggest that you maybe hold in there and really try to fight the bots and get your own at just 120 dollars and get the shoes with them of course.